Welcome back aliens, my name is Levin Reddy and let's continue with this series. So whatever we have done till now is, what, let me just relaunch the application just to see what we have done earlier. So I will go back to our browser and I will say localhost colon 8080 and the moment I sent a request you can see we are getting two different forms and of course I have not done it in a proper design. But the second one is for searching, example if I search for 101, if I click on submit, you will get data for alien 101. And if you give different data, you will get different stuff. Now in this video, what we're going to do is we'll explore some more, some more ways to fetch the data because you can see we are able to do cut operations, right? And that is perfectly working. But what if you want to do some, you know, customized query? How will I do that? Example, let's say to just, just to simplify this, I will do one more thing. Uh, I will open my JSP page, which is home.jsp and let me remove the first form because we don't need that as of, as of now. We just want to fetch the values, right? So after making the changes, I will relaunch. So let's just to see how it looks like. And if I refresh, this is what you got. You know, we got a simple text field and a button. Now what I want is I want to fetch values, but not based on the AID. I want to fetch based on something else. So maybe I want to fetch based on the technology. So I don't want people who, in fact, you know, let's keep it AID here. It doesn't matter what I enter here. What I do is in the, in the uh, controller, I just want to fetch, I want to try, try out different stuff. Example, maybe I want to fetch from the, uh, based on the technology. So what I will do is I will print on the console itself. Let's say I want to print all the aliens who are learning Java or who is working on Java. So in that case, what I will do is I will say repo dot. Now, what do you think, which method I will be using here? Because we have the methods like find by ID, which will give you only the alien with a particular ID. What if I want to search by a technology? Can we do that? Uh, maybe something like this. Can I say find by tech? Because see all the methods which we have used before, which is save, find, find by ID, delete. All these methods are predefined in your Spring Data JPA. How about find by tech? Do you think it's available? And you can see we are getting errors. Even if I type something here, if I say find tech by Java, it is still giving you an error. It's because it's not there. We don't have this method. Now, we don't have this method where. So if you see in the code repository, we don't have that method. But ultimately, when you say report.findbytech, it is searching in this alien report, right? All these methods are coming from code repository. So find by tech is not available in this interface. What if I create one? Can we do that? Find by tech will give you a list of aliens. So we can say list, it returns a list of aliens. And the method name is find by tech. Let me just declare the method here. We'll see how do we implement this later. But as of now, let me just write this method here, which is find by tech. And here I would say string uh, tech. Will this work? See, nowhere I have. So I'm not defining this method anywhere. I'm just declaring it. Is it your Spring Boot JPA or Spring Data JPA is so smart that it will be able to find it, uh, find the aliens by tech? Let's try it out. So what I will do is I will just relaunch it and let's go back to the browser. It doesn't matter what, what I enter here. Example, even if I say 101 doesn't matter, uh, it will fetch the uh, name of the alien, but we are concerned about the console, right? So if I click on submit, the important data is in the console. Can you see that we got two people or two aliens 101 and 104, Naveen and Komal both are working on Java. I mean, can you imagine that your Spring, I mean, your Spring Data JPA is helping you with the query. So it's a magic, right? Now what is happening behind the scene? Can I do anything? Can I, can I, can I write any method name? Uh, now you have to follow some protocols here. The protocol is the method name should start with find by or get by. So this is what this is the option they which they give you. So find by get by. So let's say if I make a mistake here. So instead of having find by tech, if I make a spelling mistake by adding find by tech one, you can see we are getting errors here. So method name should start with find by tech, find by, and then it should end with the name of the property. So tech is a property inside alien class, right? And that's why it is working. So if you can see alien class, we have tech as a property, and that's why you are able to search by tech. That's why tech one is not working. Uh, if I say TEC, even that will not work. So it should be tech. It's that simple, right? So this is how you can write your query. So you can do find by name. You can say find by tech. So this is one thing you can do. Can I do something, something else? Example, let's say I want to fetch the alien based on, let's say AID. So of course we have that value, but let's say I want, if I specify AID 102, I want all the aliens who has more than 102. Uh, it's something like greater than, right? 
Can I do that? So if I say system dot out dot print ln, I would say repo dot find by a id. So I want to search based on that a id, but those values should be greater than that, right? So we will use a method name as greater than. This is the protocol again. You have to follow. You have to say greater than, and then in this you have to pass any a id one zero two. So you have to mention find by. Then you have to mention on by which attribute, which or which property, which is a id, and what you want to do greater than, less than. So we'll go back to repo and let's define the same method here. List of alien and it is find by a i d greater than and I would say this is int a i d. Now this looks cool. Uh, I hope this will work because if I make a mistake here, if, even if I say id, it will not work. It has to be a i d. Maybe g t works. Let's try. If I say instead of saying greater than, if I say g t or g t doesn't work. So it says invite delivered query no proper no property gt found by type int. Oh, it should be greater than. Okay, let's go with that. And then I will go back to my controller. Nothing to worry about here. Let's relaunch the application. And once it is done, let's go back to the form. And I will say enter. And you can see we got all the aliens. We got 103, we got 104 and 105. We have not got 102 and 101 because that's what we are doing here. We are saying greater than 102. So you can try it with less than as well. It should work. You know, there are some things which you have to try by yourself as always. Okay, now I want to do one more thing. So let's say if I go to the repository, I want to, let's say there is a complex query now because this thing looks cool. But in real application, we do write complex queries. What if, I, what if I want to write my own query? Is it possible? And the answer is yes, you can define your own queries. Now, the way you do that example, let's say I want to find uh, by tech, but then all the values should be sorted. Okay, so uh, they, they have to be sorted by name. So I will find by tech, I will say Java, but the value should be sorted based on names. So we can do that. We can say find by tech and we can have any method name doesn't after that because uh, because see, if I say sorted, this is not actually a valid name uh, because if I say least alien, so you can see this is not a valid name. Even if I pass a tag here, this is not a valid name and that's what it's saying. But since we are writing our own query, so the name doesn't matter. So what we will do here is we will mention, hey, I want to write my own query. And this query would be, so in the, in the double quotes, you have to mention the query. Now, which query? Are we going to write SQL query here? Uh, normally, when you work with JPA, of course, you will you will be using JPQL. Now, if you have not learned JPQL before, it's almost same as HQL. And if you have not worked on HQL before, it's similar to SQL uh, with some changes. Example, in SQL, we say select star uh, from table. But in JPQL, we simply say it's from because select star being a boilerplate code, we don't need that. So what we'll do is we'll say from alien. Now, here you have to mention where tech because we are filtering right so i want to i want to check by tech so i will say tech is equal to now the value is coming from the user right so in that case you will be using question mark but in jpql we also use the question mark numbers because in a query you might have multiple question marks uh, so you have to mention the number there and then you will say order by a name because you want to sort based on the name Okay, this looks cool. This is how you write your complex query. You can write any complex query you want. You can, you can pass multiple parameters. So you can give a comma here and you can pass three to four parameters. It will work. Okay, this looks good. Now from here, I will say system dot out dot print and repo dot find by tag sorted. And I want to sort based on Java again so that you will, you know, we, you can compare with the first output and the output it will give you. So let's relaunch it. And just for the formality, I will say enter here. Ultimately, we need to check the console. Now, if you look at the console, see the output. It is 104 and it is 101. That means they are sorted based on the name. So it is Komal and Naveen. So K comes before N. So that's what the that's what you can do. So yes, Spring Data JPA works like a magic. So basically, it's a library which helps you to get the stuff you want, right? You just, just need to mention the method names. It will work for you. So try it out, try try out uh, complex queries here and it should be helpful. So let me know in the comment section if you want more explanation on this or if there's something you want more. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you liked it. Click on the like button there and thank you so much for watching.